China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, began making power plays at the young age of 13, when he became the head of his state and had his mother's lover executed because he was a perceived threat to the young man's power. Acting on the advice of his chief advisor, Li Si, Qin Shi Huang is said to have ordered the destruction of nearly all previously existing books within the empire. The only exceptions were literary works on astrology, agriculture, medicine, divination, and the history of the Qin state. The year after the ban went into effect, Qin Shi Huang reportedly buried 460 scholars alive after they were caught with the forbidden books. Another account claims that the emperor had killed alchemists after they had fooled him into thinking they held the secret to eternal life. Either way, it's clear that Qin Shi Huang sought to destroy any historical records that failed to fall neatly in place with his narrative, and his mission succeeded, leaving modern historians with gaps in their quest to understand the past.